Hello folks and welcome again to Grandpa Bill's Grunts and Groans. This is a little bit different perspective on the other side of my warehouse. This is somewhere in succession wherever you come in and or out of me already having done a broad talk radio show today and also another edition of the Grandpa Grunts and Groans podcast show, Grandpa Bill's. So what I want to try to follow up with here is a continuation of several of those themes contained within the blog talk shows, the three websites, the two blogs, etc. And I'm randomly picking items behind me, talking about the products as I pull them off. Thank you. Focus. I've talked about EMP Focus in one of my archival shows. You'll have to retrieve it. I'm presently taking this medicine as a client. I've taken it for years. I actually supplied, past tense, it under private label. If all goes well in a third world somewhere, in the material world or whatever, moving forward, I may sell it again under private label. I offer it under private label as we speak. But there's parameters to meet in the ways of minimum water requirements should you decide to do so at adasanimalproducts.com. Those minimums must be met in order for me to sustain and maintain as a proprietor. That is an option to yourself as well as ordering direct, which I graciously promote, have done so, will continue to do so. These folks that are the new proprietors, the Vons, I did a show about them. They will be on my radio show. They accepted my invitation. They're busy. They just purchased the company. When they get on to do so, the subject matter will be specifically their liquid supplements to contain this one and many others. To include the one next to it, a vision product. In one of my archival shows, I specifically talk about what is now the third administration. No reflection on the fact that it's the third administration. It's a reflection on how long I've been doing business with the said company. Simply, succinctly said, it's reflected to I've done business that long with the company to see three different administrations. There's no reflection on that other than talking of my longevity with the company thank you this product is an original container from that case in point from two administrations ago with the said company it's just to document that thank you i offered that in private label may do so again my kennel kelp website is now dedicated to the human products Ada's animal products for the most part are dedicated to the animal products We've now disseminated the two by two distinct websites. There's a secondary kennel kelp website that gets into the in-depth frequently asked questions, the analyses, the testimonials that span over 20 years. So that in-depth message for those that care to peruse that is why I have the third website. The simplest, in my opinion, easiest way, in my opinion, to navigate any and all of them, in my opinion, is to go to kennelkelp.com and right there in the first paragraph, by scrolling down, it might be the second, third paragraph, if you will, it's on the first page, all of the myriad of links go to the separate and succinct websites in question, if indeed there's one particular one that you want to investigate, again, you can bypass all the rest, per suggestion. By going to kennelkelp.com in the opening page, and it's a directory, it's a guide, it's a map, it's a preface, uh, whatever you want to equate it to, a book, it's the introduction, it's the glossary, I don't know, I'm, not, I'm out of adjectives, I'm not being anything but honest, I'm not being a wise guy, I'm not being animostic, I'm just trying to tell you that it's there. I have three websites, I have the dedicated website. There's videos, there's webinars, the information is there. It's nobody's going to browbeat you or whatever. It's an option. But there's a reason that those information pieces are there. If you care to take your research on any subject at any website, store, subject matter, glossary, whatever, it's no different with this one. That's 
just the only thing that I'm trying to impart while I do all of this. Randomly picking items because they are here. I've told you, I've talked about it. Those of you that have bought the product, this customer in particular, God love her, she knows who she is, and we both know each other's situation medically. Hope you're okay, Catherine, if you are listening in. But in any event, this was created for her, specifically unique to the canister that I'm holding in my hand. That is her dog. <laughs> that is my logo. And it is an empty can, but once upon a time, this is for display. It does contain the butter. <laughs> it is a real product. It is available. Switching over the horse product, same premise, same thing. That happens to be Ashley's own horse, the gal that does the mixology on this can. <laughs> She's the mixologist. There's a picture of her somewhere on all of my websites, blogs, or whatever, holding a can of the dog butter that I just showed you. That's Ashley. She's real also, by the way, just for those of you that get these crazy thoughts in your mind. This is my Highland Organics Blueberry Powder. I've talked about, sold it. I take it as a client. It's a special ingredient in my capacity as an ingredient broker. It's an ingredient in, sorry, reaching Ada's Custom Blend Animal Butter. These are my recipes. I submit the recipes to the manufacturers that are the mixologists, and they do all of that. I don't do any of that. I don't do any of that, just to clarify the record. However, <laughs> it is my recipe, whatever that's worth, but I mean, that's just factual. It's my recipe. <laughs> okay, so the blueberry powder, <laughs> the sacred clay, for right now, there it is, sorry, reaching the sacred clay. Now, please follow the bouncing ball. And Please listen to the whole statement. I've talked about that before. I do it myself. All of that. This is all crazy that everybody has to repeat and calculate what they say constantly. So, please, please, okay. In the original recipe, my custom recipe, <clears throat> in the original recipe, the sacred clay with the blueberry powder that I just showed you. I don't have kelp powder handy here. I do. If you bear with me for one second, I'm just going to flash a bulk bag. Okay, that's kelp powder. That is not the strain of the kelp that's in that recipe. But you get the premise. I don't happen to have the strain. I sold out of it. So, the kelp powder... <laughs> That I don't have, but it kind of looks like this. It's a different string. Thank you. Okay, in the original recipe, we started out with sacred clay as the third ingredient. Okay. Over time, the second generation of the original recipe, we found out Michael King, myself, the industry... Um, his customer testimonials, mine, etc. We, him, Michael, harvested a different strain of clay to begin with. It used to be porophyllite derived. It's now smectite derived. So that had something to do with the equation. Very long, complicated story. The best way I can synopsize it, Aquaterra clay in my hand. We found out, the industry, Michael, the product proved that way, all of the above, customer testimonials, that this one has a even better skin application, and that's not to cast dispersions on the sacred clay. It's just that in the application, this one is better on the skin application. This one is far superior on the internal application. Now, please follow the bouncing ball. This is perfectly safe, perfectly effective to take internally. We're just trying to be totally transparent in the documentation, the customers, and so forth have attested to it. This Aquaterra clay does have a suturing effect. Bear with me. Thus, you know, the Boo Boo Butter, which is Kathy Donnell Vitkak's product with her original recipe. And I encourage you to go to Blissful Dog 
and Blissful Horse. I encourage that. I've said that many times. To just validate everything for everybody. To protect the innocent. Whoever they are. Thank you. So in the interim now, because this has a more suturing effect, it really, really does. Try it. Find out. <laughs> I've told guys about it. Steptic pencil, ladies, okay, you know, whatever. Shaving your legs over there. You get the point. I'm just talking about a man because I've experienced it. I shake with my arthritis when I do shave and my neck and I hack myself all up because of that. This is awesome. It's not what it's design designed. It's an ancillary benefit. Boo-boo butter, wounds, you know, slices, dices, dependent on dogs, horses, okay, the bigger the animal, the different ways they get gouged, nicked, horses out in the corral, whatever, the barbed wire fountain, all you people that own them, you know what I'm saying. So it's applicable, marketed for animals, but I could easily transfer this, put a different label and say, you know, it's body butter, as in human, because it is, it's human grade. Thank you. Okay, that's depicted there. Right now, today, speaking of the butters. <clears throat> right now, today, infusing it with CBD oil. And please, again, please, because it's an appreciation for the presentation of the product to the customer. This is how great the company is that's doing this for me. They did mix some together. The end product, because of the chemistry. Now, please, please, bear with me and listen. It's not eye-appealing, which is important <laughs> at this juncture, but that this is why, this is why, please listen to me. They don't do this on a day-to-day -day basis as we speak. Now, hear me out. The homogenization equipment, which is what it would entail to take it to the next step, to make it more eye-appealing, Okay, it's nothing to do with the ingredients or the potency. It's the end product to make it appearance-wise. Right now, today, they don't have the demand overall as a proprietor and as running a company. You have to slip the shoe on the other foot. I try to do that. I am one <laughs> on both sides of the table. So, through all of that, please hear that. Right now, today, they can't do it because it would be a huge investment for them to speculate on. That's good business. Now, one more to please hear me out. They're interested in the overall interest level concept. If it de becomes a degree, pose the question to them. If you think it's valid, you'd like to see it, or whatever, that helps them, whether it ultimately comes from me or not, the principle, the principle of it. As you guys know, the CBD is everywhere. I'm going through people that believe in the principle of we're all in it for a profit, of course, we're businesses, but that is not the motivating factor. That's why some of these people are successful. They put the customer first. They provide a good ethical product, efficacy, and competitively priced in the whole bit. That's why I align myself with them. I do my homework on all my vendors. This is why I pick and choose. This is why when they are afforded the opportunity in their busy schedules to come on my show, well, honestly, it means a lot to me, it's respectability in the working relationship that we've had in some cases for a decade or more. And customer-wise, depending on how far you want to scope that out, I do have customers that go back 20 years. Hopefully one in question is still here to be doing, saying hello to, let alone doing business. That part's over for a number of reasons. I just hope she's okay. I'm trying to find that out in this crazy world. And I have had, legitimately so, they're in the ground, God rest their soul, it's just over time. I've had people that were with me that long that are indeed passed on. It's just a fact. It doesn't mean anything other than I have relationships, business-wise, that have gone on that long. So, through these vendors, 
it's awesome because it re-edifies and solidifies what I've been saying all along. I'm really nothing other than the messenger, truly. I don't claim to be anything other than the messenger, except in the percentage of the, and now over the years, I've represented like an ungodly amount of number of items. So please understand this too, when I say most of the products that I've represented in over 30 years, 40 in different lives, different commodities, well, I certainly haven't tried 10,000 items or some ridiculous amount of items that I've represented cumulatively over those years. I'm just trying to make sure that nothing gets misconceived, perceived, or whatever. So those that follow my show, and there are a few, thank you. My Kennel Cow clients have been loyal. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So some of you know all of this. Those that have listened to my shows like last year from June of 2018 to the end of 2019, that was my constant theme, where I was trying to get the business to as it became 2019. And as I always use my quotation fingers, retirement, and I make a joke of it. I've accepted that. It's semi-retirement at best. Right now, I'm on a game plan. I'm shooting for that. I have to let the duration of time go by. All of those crazy things. And I talked about Social Security being in play and Medicare and all of that good stuff. All things out of my control and a year from now is a year from now. Hopefully, I'm here to, you know, worry about a year from now. So we take it logically progressively. So through all of that, all of 2018, I talked about where I wanted to bring the business to. I'm waning down. I'm going to build a website for my granddaughter. At that time, eight, ten months ago, projecting forward, I said I wanted to do that in the first quarter of this year. Bang! Her website's up and running to whatever degree, and we've had a modicum of I did it in the first quarter of the year. I achieved the goal I was trying to do. That's step one. But I did it. So great. But I achieved it. It's part of my game plan for my business to wane down, to make it logical, real, to be able to represent all these products. Like my friend Trina said, as we communicated before she came on the show, her words, you won't hear those. It was a private email, but it's the truth. She goes, I've never understood how you can do so many things in her words and do them so efficiently. And I told her it's a constant challenge. In crime in the chronological ladder, like any of us, it begins to be more and more of a challenge. You have to pick and choose. We have to slow down. We have to do this. We have. To. That's all good. It's part of the process. So through all that rambling, again, ubiquitous audience, you know, I don't know who comes in, when you come in, how you come in, how much of it you have seen, if you fast forward. if You, you know, I don't know that, so I just throw the information out. It's like any library of information. It's a dormant book, if you will. You make it ornament as opposed to in ornament, if you will, as you read the material, access the material, whatever way you guys want to work it out in your vernacular. But you do do this every day to whatever degree you do it in different subject matters. Just think about that. That's all. You guys that follow the show know I talk about post-World War II, the television era, and, well, that was true to anybody of my age, and that is a baby boomer. That's not false. We all grew up with television. That was the thing coming out of the radio era of, like, my parents. And depending on how old you are, your grandparents, parents, or whatever, that fits you as you listen in. The radio era, Jack Benny and so on and so forth, Amos and Andy, all of them, the radio era. When it became television, it was huge. We got influenced by it. it we just did. It, we just did. I mean, it was the nature of the beast. It was a different time for a lot of reasons. We were more trusting. I don't know, maybe we were more naive. I don't claim to know that, but I think, I think it was a little fairer 
time. So thus is why it was a little bit more docile, calm, or whatever. So anyway, here we are. That's the evolution of time, just like whatever was alive and well in my grandfather's time. And in my grandfather's time, I've talked about that. I came along so late in my parents' life that my relatives, including my parents, were already old. And my grandparents, and you know, I barely knew some of them because of Mother Nature or whatever, but it's a fact, Jack. So it's taken me all this time, and it's still an ongoing process. <laughs> And I'm learning that. I know who my relatives are and or were, and I'm learning about that. And all that crazy documentation that I told you people about Harrison Maine, do your own research, but it is true. <laughs> Check the historical society if you choose to or whatever. But it's all true, and I'm done trying to justify that. You can believe it, not believe it, or whatever. But I'll continue to profess it because it's real. So, in any event, Putting the sacred clay back in my warehouse, and as I reach for the items as they're available to me in my range of motion and so on and so forth, and knocking stuff around. This is real. This is organic. This is live. Okay, CTFO gummies is one of the many products I've used within the CTFO line. I'm up to like eight or ten. I've lost count myself. Again, I have some issues with my brain trauma. Good. I'm doing something about it. Go to the archive shows, wherever they are, the blogs, the videos, the three websites, they are there. Retrieve the information if you care to do so. I've done shows on the 8, 10 products, which aren't all in arm reach right here at the moment, to repeat that again. What is here that I can show you is peppermint oil drops, 300 milligrams. Well, it's in my hand. <laughs> it is the bottle. <laughs> And I guess you'll have to trust me that, yes, I've used it, and yes, I have actually a client that uses it. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay. What else that I can show you within arm's reach here? Okay, this is a pain relief oil spray, one of the many products that I'm a product of the product. <laughs> okay. There it is. I mean, there it is. That's, I'm just holding it up. There it is. I, no hocus pocus. I'm not Kreskin. I'm not a magician or whatever. Okay, what else can I show you while it's here? Bear with me. Okay, I'm jumping around. Those of you that follow the show, I always use these crazy analogies. But I'm in the corral. I make that analogy. It's a corral. I've got a bunch of wild Mustangs without calling anybody names. It's my terminology. Wild horses, okay? <laughs> Mustangs. <laughs> In the corral. And, you know, we're getting ready to let the horses out in the pasture or whatever crazy thing you guys want to connect to. Okay. Well, equine. I just talked about them. Under new management. Okay, well, there's their brochure and pamphlet that I had with no reflection on the ownership. This was before they had ownership to do so. That's all I'm documenting. I did this particular venture with what is now the most recent former administration of this company with no aspersions on any of that. It's just factual. Previous to the name of the folks before the present folks. This does get confusing sometimes. I understand that. The previous administration was Tanda, 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 like a panda with a T. Spelling-wise, not the animal comparison, but that's what it phonetically sounds like. Okay. And Rebecca was the very most recent former administration that just sold the business to the Vaughns that will be on my show talking about the liquid supplements and these products at a different time. The first show is their liquid supplements as the new ownership. Hang with me. Hang with me. Way back, and I probably don't have a private label bottle here. I've shown you guys private label bottles before that say BH sales on them. Do the research. They're out there. The videos, they are out there. I just don't have it right here. Okay, unique to the BH sales, private label. They were multitudinous. I showed you the whole video. 
I had salmon oil. I had this. I had that. Okay, bear with me. That was the original administration of effective natural products that eventually became also well canine, well feline, and well equine. That administration at least goes back a decade. And it was Dave Grogan. My memory does come back a little tiny bit. Whether he was full owner, part owner, whatever, I don't know if I can remember that degree. But he was involved, and he also was my phone rep as well. I believe he had part ownership. But in any event, that was an entire different administration ownership at that time. So all that documents is, please, it is no reflection on buying and selling businesses or whatever. It's a reflection of my longevity with the company. Thank you. Okay, so while I'm knocking things around here in my warehouse, organic warehouse, here's something I knocked on the floor, so let's talk about it. Highland Organics, I just showed you their blueberry powder. Okay, I do drink her teas. I have drank her teas. You know, I wouldn't say I'm a regular customer yet as far as the teas go. Teresa and I have been talking for a year about getting her on the show. When the season starts, she is literally in the field, in the fine Yankee tradition, working to harvest blueberries and does her own packaging and etc., etc., with a fine crew and all of that. That's the fine, main hard work ethic that is prevalent in Maine, always has been, always will be. We can be real proud of that. And we are. And we are. This is why I do a main cross promotion campaign. Main vendor, Highland Organics. Main vendor, Tourmaline Spring. Main vendor, BA Sales, Ada's Animal Products, Kennel Kelp, all my crazy names and websites. Main vendor. When Seth gets on the show and we talk, I don't have his new product yet because it's that new, but it's in route. So I'm going to hold up an arbitrary bottle backwards and you understand when I get the product, I'll show you it. But, you know, it'll be not in an asimilar bottle. That's one of the attributes that differentiates it. I just did a show about it. And it's on Ada's Animal Products webpage. And I gave you the reference to uh, Seth's brand new website, which from my crazy old man memory, I believe, <laughs> is amethystelixir.com. And that will take you right there. And you can see the said bottle on either of the two venues that I just said. I don't have it yet. It's in route. But it's designed for ultraviolet diffraction of light and all of that, which is good to protect the integrity of the product. <clears throat> when you get to decipher the information and look at the differentiation, basically, basically, the difference between 10x Pure you can see all of the same attributes and the same verbiage on both websites. Theirs, as parent companies, they're not aware of Seth at this point. That's no reflection. They're just not. So they didn't copy his and or vice versa in this crazy world, okay? The point is, is the products concur with the same descriptions, analogies, benefits, attributes. Here's the difference. And it's a key one. Seth is a water. Not only water soluble and hydrophilic, which 10x Pure is as well, and it's no aspersions on the 10x Pure. That's why I titled my show, Why Not Both? Understand? Understand? It's like whatever you want to compare it to, Diet Coke and classic Diet Coke or whatever crazy stuff resonates with you guys. Listen, please. Seth's amethyst, number one, he's a gemologist. When he gets here to talk about it, he knows all about that. I mean, I'm vaguely familiar with it. 
I'm not an aficionado. I'm a messenger. But I do know the medicinal values of it, like I do tourmaline. So that's one thing he's going to address. He's the voice of experience on it, really, seriously. Give him the opportunity. One of his other fine companies in the ubiquitous audience, I'm sure many are familiar with it, but again, it's ubiquitous, living nuts. Okay, and living nuts, N-U-T-Z, I like to make jokes as well as the next guy. That kind of nuts, you crazy nuts, okay? Nuts, N-U-T-Z, play on word. Sprouted, that goes right to my theme that uh, Seth is kind of a, familiar with because we're trying to market the water that way. Like next school calendar year, we've got something on the board for that. It'll take that long to even begin to talk about that. But we've got it on the board. Point being, I have this healthy lunchbox program. I've had it for years. Named for my granddaughter. Ada's Nutritious Lunchbox. One of the many things that I name after my granddaughter in the way of health, including designing a website for her. <laughs> okay. So I've talked with Seth about this half liter size bottle, wherever it is that I drink all the time, right here is ideal for a backpack, a lunchbox. You get the concept. If they carry it physical, you understand what I'm saying. At lunch, okay? You pick the vessel, the unit that it's stored in. Lunchbox, backpack, okay? Humor me. This, and when he gets here to do so, the living nuts, I do have an empty package of what happens to be one of my favorites, no teeth or, or not, <laughs> is Divine Chocolate Walnuts, one of the many. And I'll tell you a funny story about his brother Davey last year and my craziness, how I got confused and couldn't get it through my thick head that Seth didn't hang his hat there at that. But it's all good. They were just wonderful. You know, after I called them 55 times, <laughs> couldn't get it through my head that he wasn't there and that, yes, they did kind of ship some of his products, but he had other ways of fielding his men. It was how we got familiar with each other people. It's how you build a relationship. Seth will chuckle about this now. He does. We have. And when I talked to him a year ago and I said, you know, this is what I hope to do. And my goodness, you know, it probably won't happen and all that. He gets all that. And he knows that my every step along the way. And I told him I had to take a hiatus from it. All that crazy stuff. Well, we're back. We're back. We know each other at a different level. We're still not, you know... And that's fine. It doesn't mean we're enemies. Listen, I don't know him at that level. You know, I don't go take pictures of him, you know, with the oath. I hope to, <laughs> product-wise. I don't know. But, you know, you understand. It's a business relationship. Well, a year later, we're at a different level. It takes time. And it takes trust. I understand that. And I respect that on both sides. I respect that. That's why I do business with these people. And hopefully, vice versa, I don't know, they came on my show. I mean, I don't know, honestly, I'm being honest. I don't know, they certainly don't have to come on my show for anything. And I appreciate that. I don't know, I have to assume that that means a little tiny something. I, yes? <laughs> okay, so when Seth gets on here, we change the direction of the topic. We're not specifically going to talk about tourmaline water this time. This time. He's got four other companies, and I got all these things going on. We're trying to help each other get exposure off of each other and off of each other in the business world. He knows that. I know that. He knows I got lots of cars and all that crazy stuff. This is not my forte. It's, you know, it just isn't. I'm picking my way through it and whatever. As I get entrenched with Seth, we will do videos and all. We will. We will. We will. We will. I'm not putting the cart before the horse and I'm not putting words in it. All that crazy stuff. He's pretty much as much as said so. It just takes time. He runs four companies. So please hang in there with me because that show is going to happen. We're going to get him on here and I just via email. I just talked to him, I don't know, two hours ago. And if he's afforded the time to do so, he might call me tonight. We understand these things. There's no 
oh my God, he doesn't like me, or he gave up on his credit. That's all crazy stuff. Okay, thanks. So what else can I show you but besides turning my back? And that might work to your advantage because you don't have to look at my ugly face. But here you go. Trina, jumping back to her. On, on the show that she was on, God love her. I mean, in the business sense, she was on there to promote her own dental products. I mean, that's not out of the ordinary, right? And far be it for me to have to document that she did it in her usual, fine, outstanding, eloquent professional she is who she is it's why she's famous and it's why she is a guru on the skincare she just is she just is look at her products look at her company and I told you a pipe dream well you don't have pipe dreams but I'm an old man it's, I can have a pipe dream I told you about the new employee that I haven't even had the privilege to know by name yet that they hired at CTFO, that it's a cosmetic specialist. Listen, please, I'm not slamming anybody. She, I don't know her name, is an expert in cosmetics, and she's also an expert in CBD packaging and what have you because she's done this before for other companies that I, if I understand it correctly, somewhere in a crazy world, I would love to have her and Trina talk. They would have a kinship on understanding skin care. Just if they talked about it in the privacy of their own sector, that would be awesome. If they did it on my show, be <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I understand the reality of all that. But you can aspire. And you know something? And understand why I said it on the show. It took me nine years to get Trina on the phone live understandably so she deals with big massive companies she's been on Dr. Oz <laughs> you know it's not a personal affront it's good business and all along the way we stayed in touch via emails I'm an affiliate of hers and I have been for 10 years Ada's an affiliate now I'm doing everything Ada wise if you guys come to the old man site and do something great, because you know what? Ultimately, it goes back into the business anyway, and circumventedly or whatever, because that's my passion, that will go to my granddaughter in some way, shape, form, or manner too, after we eke out the cost of living, cost of doing business, or what have you, through channel kelp. Teaching Ada about affiliate marketing, co-marketing, joint marketing, Venture marketing, collaborative marketing, that's how I've survived in 25 years. It hasn't been because of Camel Kelp in and of itself and by itself. That's for sure. That's what sustained making a modicum of an income that went back into the business. Understand, no false accolades here. So no profits yet. Because it goes back into maintaining the business. Thus is why for me, the CTFO business is a godsend. It will be residual income. It will be passive income. And I will establish that. It takes time. While I'm establishing that, I already have my niche that I'm training my granddaughter. And it's the concept, ladies and gentlemen. She's an 11-year-old kid. Is she sitting at a desk? <laughs> you know, part of my employee, I don't have any employees, but you understand. Of course not. Of course not. But at the same time, God love her, she asked me in a conversation the other night, could I draw my own logo? I said, you can do anything you want. It's your website. So she is involved to that degree. She watched Mia's, Natrina's daughter that I talked about, Paleo Pets, check it out, Mia. Get a good comic relief in a good way, as in comic relief, not making fun of a child. She is so funny, and she is so much a mini-me of her mother, it just warms my heart just to watch her do that. It's about that generation. It is. It is. It's about us, too, of course. 
But it's about that generation. They're the decision makers at that age bracket in less than 10 years, folks. That's the reality of it. That's the reality of it. Your daughters, cousins, brothers, nieces, whatever, you understand the point, depending on the age bracket that fits your particular demographic. But if you have children of that age, teenagers, preteens, whatever, they're young adults in less than a decade, correct? Wow. And believe me, the older you get, a decade is like five minutes in some regards. Hopefully I'm here in a decade, but that's determined by someone else. And that's also why I do all of this. To do the very best that I can do to hedge death. Am I going to die? Well, of course I'm going to die. <laughs> of course. So it's just real. Okay, I jump all around the board because it's my warehouse and this is what I got. This is the mouthpiece, the LED. I'm not going to put this in again because I don't have my plate in and all that stuff. I have a video that's live with me. Ha, ha, ha. Good. Use it for what it's worth. I take no offense at that. But I used it live. Trina talked about it. I used it. You couldn't see it on the radio. But during the radio interview, she chuckled, commented on it. It was real. <laughs> I do use the product. I do have it. I got it at an excellent price. Now, Trina would know this too. But it is what it is, and it's worth every penny. Hear what I say. I wouldn't just randomly spend that kind of money, understand what I say, just to say that I'm going to show you a picture of it. Okay? Just look at it that way. That's all I ask. I would certainly not do this if I was a, a billionaire. Just to pretend, okay? I don't do that. I did a video on that, if you care to watch it, about fake backgrounds and all that crazy stuff, green backgrounds. Well, Mike Adams, who got accused of the same thing, his video is right on the same page in comparison, if you care to watch it. And that is his ISO lab. That's what he's talking about. That's what he's talking about. He hears it every day. He's not real. It's pretend. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. So, if you care to find the things that prove that all of that stuff is real, well, that's the best we can do for you, folks. It's the best we can do for you. The tourmaline water and the tourmaline products and the amethyst, as soon as you can get there to do so, and at Ada's website, we're as transparent as we possibly can be if you go there. Go watch how the water is harvested and what have you. I mean, I can't. There's, there's nobody in the world that's that transparent. There just isn't. And it's not because I represent them or use the product. It's in and of itself. Understand the concept. You've got to agree to that. Go watch it. And, and then tell me how they're hiding something or whatever. So I'm done with that. But, I mean, you guys do. You come up with these crazy things. So I don't know. That's the best I can do for you here, randomly. And these basically, now, going to my earlier point of staying in that corral, my analogy, I go all around the fence, but I'm still in the canal, corral, rather, and I do have vapors from my teeth being yanked out, which I talk about in the show, and Michael King talks about, and his life partner who went through the same thing, <laughs> went through, okay, I, I don't know what else to say. I didn't coerce them to say it, I, it's not dubbed, it's not split in, we didn't do a certain segment segment, and I spliced it in. I don't have that kind of savvy. I got these two paws that I've been telling you about. I couldn't do that if I wanted to. Okay? That's as real as I can tell you. Okay? That's as real as I can tell you. I don't know. Now am I crippled and no aspersions? Or, no! It's what I fight hard every day to not become. That's all I'm doing here. Thank you. Okay. This is basically now. Thanks for bearing with me. Again, to whatever your degree of familiarity is or isn't as you come into all of these things that I call the jigsaw puzzle. Because it kind of is. And all these parts will fit in if indeed you take the time to avail yourself all the manufacturer's websites, number one, that I've talked about. 
and I'm freely comfortable in doing and have promoted and suggested that you do. And I even have a benefit package for you if you decide to exercise it that way called the BA Sales 5025 program, which I've talked about at nauseum for 25 years. And I have several clients that have enjoyed it for years on my kennel kelp. I have also many more through their choice that don't exercise the option. It's a fair analogy. It's a fair statement. You leave money on the table by your choice to not do that. You leave money on the table by your choice, not exercising any of my customer rewards and incentive plans, which are multitudinous if you choose to go look at them on the detailed Kennel Kelp website. So I try to give you guys the best of both worlds. I know the attention span out there in today's world and all of that. So I try to have the website that's brief. I mean, you still have to talk about the product a little bit on any website. So I think I accomplished that for those that want to come in, come out, do their thing and move on to the next venture. I think I've created a vessel for that. I just said I have the detailed one for those that do like to do the research, like to look at the frequently asked questions, look at the testimonials, look at the analyses. I have a dedicated website for that. Doesn't make me anything better or whatever, but I have it. And then last but certainly not least, I have the kennel kelp, which now sells the human products. So I'm certainly not going to create a fifth website. I have the dedicated CTFO website, which <clears throat> for me, and for those that are already participating in it, how about that? What it does for them and would do for you if you chose to do so. Have an appreciation for what I'm telling you right now and showing you in the bowels of my house how I do business. Out of my house. Okay. With CTFO, for those of us, including myself, I am an associate of them. It's a fat jack. I have the designation, I have the logo, all that crazy stuff. Bear with me. The pay paradigm's huge for me. That's an intriguing factor. I've already talked about that. You know what's a really intriguing factor? Everything I just told you for 20 minutes. I no longer have to inventory product unique to them. I no longer have to ship it. I have, in essence, the customer service department, the telemarketers, what have you. They deal with all of that. They deal with buyer's remorse, like they got a purple one instead of a pink one, all of that. They deal with all of that. That is huge to me. All I really, really, really need to do to be successful, I need a little tiny bit of help, but really... It's basically, if I'm a good enough guide to direct people to convince themselves by watching a movie. It's basically that simple if we keep it that way, in my humble opinion. So in my humble opinion, that's how I'm going to market it. Again, hear me please. There's over 600,000 people that are doing this for this company. That is a very positive sign, by the way. It reiterates all the financial solvency that I told you about the company. Do the research on the owners if you haven't already done so. Do the research. It's, it's all there. It's all true. They're histrionics. And you know the thing that impressed me about them, too, which is high on my list? They earned their money. They earned it. They're entitled to what they have, but they rolled up their sleeves and they walked the mile and they failed. And they tell you that they failed. There's no magic. There's no hocus pocus. They're on to something now. After 32 years of dedication, they tell you that. If you watch it, you decipher it. But this is a different company. It just is. And you have to, you know, decipher that to your own, whether it's this company or not, because you know what? 
There are a few really reputable companies out there still, no matter what they sell or what they're professing. And it's a damn shame that they get victimized by the bad people, too. That's a fair statement. I just said them. I'm talking about somebody that makes mm, pipe equipment, nuts, bolts, whatever. They suffer this every single day, too. And there are honest, viable people out there. There are. And they should be able to exist and do a model that is a workable, ethical model if they choose to do so. So, for me, my business, in every connotation of the word business, without being a wise guy, it does have multiple meanings, and I do mean it in every connotation of the word in this example. It is my business, without being defiant or whatever. Okay, it's my business. It's got my name on it. My reputation, however good, bad, indifferent, it's mine. At least for today. <laughs> so, under that premise, I choose to do that business this way. And you know something? There's no pressure from them. There's no defiance. There's no picking up the phone and say, oh my God, you can't say that. and You can't do it that way. This company does not do that. They just don't. What they do do, and I just told you of how highly I commended them and had a supervisor and how impressed I was, and literally within a half an hour, per my request out of thousands of reps and customers, and it's booming. I got a call from a new sponsor like in a half an hour. That does not happen in other companies. I do know that. Because I've worked for many. <laughs> and so do you. Wherever your demographics may be. And if you're putting your feet up in the comfort of your house. Your gym. You're doing your yoga class. You're listening to this while you're driving in your car. Or whatever. In your soul of souls. <laughs> if you're working. Pretty much. I think you'll concur. That there's an evil Edna. My term. Okay. No offense to anybody named Edna. <laughs> Or a malicious Mal, as in Malvin, or whatever. Okay, get over it. But is there not? And to make a joke of it, while I have my own employers in the private sector that I've talked about, if you guys come through, I have them doing a taste test with this water. I had them doing one last summer. That issue, if there is one, is going to be like any office environment for water. For the millennium, it's been water coolers, right? And the bubble of bottles, well, once upon a time, Summit Spring did that. I used to be a client and had home delivery. That's a fact, Jack. Someday I'll show you that empty bubble of bottle because I got it somewhere down here. But that was real, too. <laughs> For them, as a company, and I'm not part of the ownership, but I mean, I know this. It wasn't profitable in the overall spectrum within their overall account base. Understand, you guys know this. You make these decisions yourself every day in whatever commodity or commodities you provide. So this is why they don't now provide it. So through all of that, in an office environment, and that plays to my crazy jokes, well, you all talk about your boss around the water cooler, right? Come on, get real, lighten up. It's a joke, but there's a degree of truth to that, right? And you're talking about whoever, and oh my God, that employee's this or that or the other thing or whatever. Or the world arena or whatever. Or the latest book, soap opera, movie, wine, right? Am I wrong? Around the water cooler, right? Jokes or otherwise, there's a degree of relevance and reality to that, right? Okay, so if it doesn't get into the environment of my ISO lab that I work for, by the way, that's the reality, it is an ISO lab, that's one of the reasons I did the documentation of the water from a separate ISO lab called the Bouncing Ball, 
so I could bring an ISO lab report from another bona fide ISO lab, and those of you that are familiar with ISO parameters and qualifications, they're pretty expletive, deleted, stringent, <laughs> okay? They are. So it's the real McCoy as a lab facility, understand, when you get the accreditation to be an ISO lab, okay, follow the bouncing ball, thank you. I did that independent research for all those reasons on the water I already said. But I did it from one ISO lab to now another. Now, my people have other things to do besides just assess my water. Appreciate that. But they did drink it. They did open the cap. And they did compare it to their present product. And, you know, I'll soon find out. Now, bear with me. <laughs> the bubbler part of it. They know, we know, I just told you guys, we don't supply that. If it gets relegated to just that, I don't think it's going to be an aspersion on the water itself. I'm pretty sure we're convinced on the water. Now, I don't want to get overzealous in this. Nothing's for everybody. And I already told you back, I have a client in, in a non-insulting way that just shrugged her shoulders. Just simply implying to her palate or whatever, just get real people. It wasn't, oh my God, this stuff is poison, I hate it. It was not that. She just shrugged her shoulders like, okay, what's the big deal? If Without saying that, you understand? Well, lo and behold, true story. <laughs> it is available on a local level in lots of stores, one of which is the Whole Foods, this particular individual's brother, Works. It's just crazy in life how coincidences come up as you go through life. Well, her brother works at the Whole Food. Gospel, gospel, I don't, you know, whatever. Because he tried it or sells it or stocks the shelf or has used it for years, I don't know that. He's kind of got her convinced. And she's tried it again, and I said, you know, it's kind of an acquired taste too, but it's, it, and, and at the same time, are a thousand people going to try this and a thousand people are going to, oh my God, this is, well, of course not. Of, of course not. It's not the reality of it. But I'll tell you what, in the percentage of the case, it's the first thing anybody says, you heard two people on live on my show say that. That is usually the first comment. And guess what? If you didn't know this, they did indeed win an international award for the best tasting water in the world. That's on their website, too. I don't think I have that documentation on my website. And shame on me, I'll put it on today. But that's true. Now, as we are in May now, as in 2019, <laughs> the award was as of last May, I don't know until I get to talk to Seth, I don't know, is that every year, or is it another annual event, or were you in it? I don't know that. I don't yet. And I don't know the parameters, but I know the award is val valid, and they won it. And it is a fine water, so classified, so designated. So, when you look at it, just like a fine wine in the connotation of the word fine, not the commodity. Of course, it's not wine and doesn't taste like wine, but it is a fine water. Okay, fine wine, top shelf, get it? That's been the issue, and it's not an issue. That's been the comment in the general mind. Well, I love the water. How do I get it, and how can I get it effectively and price it? We're working on all of that, and it's a complicated situation for everybody, regardless of the commodities, and you guys all know that, whether you're multi-million dollar corporations or tiny sole proprietors like myself or anywhere in between. Shipping is tough, and it's an expense that somehow, some way, in the reality, you can say it's free, you can build it, and you understand what I'm saying without being deceptive. You have to pass it on. I mean, you have to. One way or the other, and come on now, come on now, come on. We all do that. That's not deceptive. It's necessity to survive. It's crazy on the shipping rates. I couldn't agree more as a consumer. Again, 
I'm one of those too. Hello. <laughs> it's terrible. This is why I'm experimenting with Michael King. It has to be viable. It has to be real. It has to work for both parties. My God, it's a two-week discussion that hasn't even begun to get legs yet while they run their everyday businesses and serve their very strong, thriving customer bases with their fine products of their own day to day. So it has to fit in to everybody's schedule. That is ongoing. Is it ongoing today? I doubt it. Out west in Oregon, I doubt it. I mean, it's the reality of it, but he's going to try putting, you know, bottles into boxes, and we're trying, we're really ultimately trying to see how we can make it competitively priced and what have you. There's a procedure to that. So bear with us on that. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> and for a little tiny bit, too, I'm good. I'm good on this palette right here. If any of you guys for right now need water, tourmaline water, and Seth is good with this. We talked about it. I'm trying to help him as much as I can to take off some heat while he can wear all those hats for the other four bids. We're in this together. We're helping each other. So through all of that, right now, today, and he's comfortable with this, you can generate the orders through me so we can get it to you in a timely fashion right now. Now, if it gets into pallets or what have you, you do have to talk to Seth. You do have to talk about logistics. And like any company, I don't know this. I don't know this. I'm not part of the management team, but I've been around the proverbial block once or twice. It means nothing other than I've lived that long, and I have been around the proverbial block once or twice. In warehouse environments, by the way. So I don't know this. I'm not saying it's gospel, but I kind of know a little bit about a little bit, enough to be dangerous. Every company has to prioritize production runs, and Company A comes in the rank and file. It's just like any other company. There's no differentiation there. I mean, you know, there's a rank and file. So my point is, as transparent as they are, and they are, Listen to what they say right in the commercial. How many gallons are wasted because they just can't harvest it that fast. And for the millennium, this spring just keeps spouting that out. So transitional periods happen in all companies like that in production runs. So I'm not saying anything other than if it's a pallet or less, with Seth's blessing for right now, today, please do. And it's for us. I represent his company. We're in this together. We're trying to help each other service the customer. And he will tell you about whatever, if it's over and beyond. And that's awesome. But have an appreciation, just like any company, there's a rank and file, there's production runs, there's a cost of doing business. It's complicated, folks, for all of us. It is. It just is. And we're fighting. We're fighting. We're fighting together. But we're not fighting animostically. We're fighting for survival. And we're fighting with a reason and with some passion. We believe in what we're doing. And we believe in the clean products. All of us. You heard Trina Felber, my last parting words with her about the water which she touted and she was hung up because she's never tasted anything like this. You understand? She was kind of struggling for words. It's somebody that's well-versed, well, she's never tasted this until then. And I just kind of helped her along and I said, clean? <laughs> you know, like clean? And she goes, there it is, clean, clean, clean. She concurred. It was her first time to decipher the difference. And that's the thing I like about her the most, that again, she would do it very professionally. She wouldn't do it disparagingly. But at the same time, if she did not believe it, again, professionally, not insultingly or whatever, she would tell you that. That's what I love. So, there will be a sample going her way of the new amethyst water as well. As soon as I get it, and she gets that, she welcomes it with open arms. Is she going to have five minutes to pick up the phone and say, thank you, Bill? Of course not. We understand that, but she will thank me. Her 
lifestyle is a tiny bit different than mine, and that's just real. That's not negative. It's not. It's just real. And she does communicate with me behind the scenes. She just does. So, for what that's worth, I've been heavily promoting her products through the affiliate program that I'm trying to teach as a concept to Ada that that's one of the main ways that a sole proprietor in this business survives. No matter how sporadic, nominal, or what have you, that those commission structures may be with no aspersions on the company, that's the principle that they all work on. They're not going to give you 90%. Of course not. So, if you have enough of them, and if you have some degree of frequency, you understand? That's a niche market, and it's a market that you can generate. I'm not saying millions and thousands of dollars, but it's money that can help sustain the business and help, in some instances, paying cash for the merchandise as opposed to, you know, your corporate card or what have you, which is necessitated in business too, as we all know. It's a vicious dichotomy circle that we're all trying to find ways. So, in aligning myself with Seth, I'm just over-the-top excited. I can't wait. And his forte amongst the many is he's blessed. It's a gift. It's not an envious thing when I say that. It's a gift I admire. It just rolls off his... Everything, honest, honestly, honestly, and this isn't BS... He says so much that's in my soul and in my heart. It just doesn't come out of me as eloquently, as cadenced, as calmly. I'll admit that. So I can't wait for his beneficial contributions just on that. And it and he'll do that graciously. He you know, it, and no judgment or what any of that. It's just a fact, Jack. It's not a forte of mine. Great. Awesome. I accept that. Michael King's another one. God bless him. It's just awesome. I, I could listen to him forever. Even if I didn't listen to the subject matter. It's just he's so calm, cadenced. It's tempered. It's another multiple faceted word, by the way, as in music. Tempered, you know, temper, meter, temper, meter. I insult no one. But please understand my connotations of the words, you crazy people. <laughs> Some of you. I'm crazy. Okay, so we're all crazy. Just be a good crazy. Just be a good crazy. All right, good. I pretty much showed you in a nutshell. That's where I'm at. That's the microcosm as best as I can do you from like 10 months ago to now, if you will. This is where I'm at. I did get a couple of things accomplished, at least on paper. My granddaughter's website. Thank you again. We're having a modicum of success. We hope to have a whole lot more by offering these fine products to include Seth's. And his new product for the very last time is on Ada's website right now. Before I even have it to do so. And that's no aspersions on Seth. He hasn't had a chance to ship it yet. We just talked about it yesterday. So it's all good. It's all real. Good things are going to happen real soon. And when we get Seth on the show, it's just going to be awesome. We're going to rock some socks. And I do pose why not both. Because they're two outstanding products and each one in and of itself and each vendor in and of itself appreciates that fact we're trying to present an array of what i'm now calling ada's apothecary medicine cabinet okay that's it for this episode of grandpa bills grunts and groans thanks for joining in and i'll see you somewhere the next time around and always remember that BA sales, kennel kelp, Ada's animal products promote good health in all humans and animals. And I'll see you the next time around. Have a great day, everybody.